Immortal Mike joins us now yes. on the show. Mike, congratulations. Just an incredible ceremony down there in Dallas on Saturday. Unveiling your statue. It looks great. Um, curious to get your thoughts now a couple days later. You've had a chance to reflect on that night. Uh, what was your biggest takeaway and what did that all mean to you and your family? Uh, I think probably the consolation prize of actually doing it inside between periods. I think having the 18,000 people there and kind of sharing in that emotion and, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, uh, a, a range of feelings from the start of 1993 and getting down there and then just the impact we had on the game of hockey. We transitioned fans to the game of the, the sport and, you know, everybody just remembers those, uh, those 90 years and are still very attached to those years. And, uh, you know, so it becomes emotional where you have a lot of impact on people who grew to love the game that turned into hockey fans because of our move down there. Hey, Mo, what was the process like with the uh, with the statue? Like, do they check in with you and say, hey, this is this is this is your arm? What do you think? How does this look like? Do they they check in? Because I, I my favorite part is the flowing jersey. Yeah. So when I think of you, that's what I think of. Well, we did a, we did a, we we skimmed through a lot of photos on online and in Getty and uh, you know, there was probably three or four of us that were pulling photos. And it was funny that we got to about four or five each that, and we all had that same photo there where that's a little bit of a crossover kind of uh, gaining, trying to get some speed going. And then all of a sudden the Jersey kind of comes out to the side there. So I think that was kind of, uh, you know, kind of a, a an image of me and, and my style. And it wasn't going to be the Stanley Cup over the head or a slap shot or some deal. But uh, yeah, we kind of focus on just uh a simple crossover move that, you know, I love the speed of the game, the skating part of it, and the, the aspect of that is something I really wanted to be good at and worked hard at, but so that was kind of how we came to it. But yeah, it's, it's a process. I spent, uh, took a couple trips to Chicago just to kind of see how it was going. Did a lot of zooms just to kind of create that look and that feel, but it's it's very, you know, it's very minute. The, the wrinkle in the jersey, the skate laces, the chin strap, the CCM, everything else, it was just so, uh, you know, they, it was spot on. They did a great job. They nailed that flap. And thank God they did. I would have come down and absolutely rioted in Dallas <laughs> if they didn't. And let's stay. I'm glad Roper brought it up. Let's stick with that jersey flap. When did you realize that jersey flap had become iconic to you? Probably more towards the end of my career. I, I think I was always one that had a big jersey. I liked a loose fitting sleeve. So with that, I had to go to a bigger size jersey. So I was about around a 54 55 so it was a little loose in my arms and and then it just kind of uh you know made the bottom part a little bit uh looser and bigger so it, it had that you know flow to it if i was moving all right but you know i was always a big advocate of guys who could skate fast but the ones that could skate fast with a puck are the ones that just really set uh, set it apart so I drove Bob Ganey and Ken Hitchcock nuts, nuts because I would do every skating drill that, or every bag skate with a puck, and he just would go crazy. So, but uh, I always feel like if someone can go fast with a puck, that's they're they're doing something. <laughs> Mike, I want to go back to the uh, the unveiling itself because I know you had a little bit of you know a couple zooms you mentioned some trips to Chicago, but you had not seen the statue yet. So, what was that moment like? Were you nervous? Like, oh my gosh, I hope they got it right. What am I going to look like in this massive size outside of American Airlines Center? Well, yeah, you're you're a little nervous because you know this thing's forever, so you hope <laughs> that uh, every little detail's uh, you know pretty accurate. But uh, he, uh, Omri, just did a great job. I mean, the facial features, everything else, just uh, you know from top to bottom, the eyes, the face, the lips, the whole thing, and just the little marks and everything else that they had on there. So. Um, I, I was a little nervous because, you know, it's not, uh, you can't get up there and change it after this. So, uh, but it was great. Hey, the biggest truth tellers are the kids. What do the kids say about it? <laughs> yeah. uh, they're still trying to grasp this whole thing. They're not quite sure uh, what, what's going on with me and, and uh, what uh, the game of hockey. So, you know, we've been to a couple Minnesota games here and, you know, eventually my seven-year-old tugged on my jacket sleeve and said dad i think i know why they there's you got so many friends it's because of the mighty ducks isn't it <laughs> so, you're like bingo that's like, it yeah that's that's <laughs> you know they keep you humble so yeah they, they keep me grounded so oh that well that's great mo um <laughs> uh, let, let's talk about now where you're going now in minnesota and your role with the minnesota wild what are you staying busy with with the wild now 
It's been great. I, I think just kind of getting them, being around and being involved and just see the day to day operations. Uh, you know, Billy's one of the most hardworking guys I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, that whole staff is great from ownership down. And I just kind of be around. I kind of learn the in and outs and sit through some meetings and go to some scout meetings and uh, just see how, you know, how complex it is, how they go through about their picking players, the development of the players down in Iowa, the whole thing. So it's a it's a big process. I mean, behind the scenes, is a, there's a lot going on. So I just kind of uh, tag along and be around uh, Billy. And, you know, sometimes he, uh, he he bounces some ideas off myself and you know, we kind of collaborate a little bit. But all in all, he's been uh, he's been the one tugging on the strings. He's doing a great job. And, you know, I think in soon here in a couple of years when we get off the economic books that we're going to have, be off to the races here. We know you're splitting your time uh, between, of course, your home and also being there in Minnesota and present for the Wild. You were in Dallas, obviously, uh, for the jersey unveiling. But with, with the kids, I mean, we saw all five kids at the at the statue uh, unveiling there on Saturday night. And, um, you know, are, are they all playing hockey, Mike? Are they, like, what are they interested in? When they see this massive statue of Dad, they've got to start to wonder, gee, maybe there's a gene in here that we could play some hockey, too. <laughs> Well, four of the five are playing. So our, our seven-year-old, she's soccer and basketball. But, you know, God, the twins are into it. Um, the five and three are really into it. God, they just love it. They can't get enough of it. So I think our three-year-old is going to be the, the terror of the house. It's usually the, the last one that's usually the toughest and the smartest and uh, becomes uh, learns a lot from the kids above them. But, um, yeah, they... they Minnesota is just a great community. The fans, the people here, it's just a great, we, we've missed the Midwest. We're glad we're, glad we're back. So, um, but yeah, they're in everything, lacrosse. We got basketball, flag football. I mean, I'm just, uh, my, my wife's, uh, Allison's the organizer and planner. I'm just the driver. <laughs> hey, what about the, uh, I want your feedback on the, the jerseys here, because I know we talk about them a lot. I'm sure you've been asked about them a lot too, but uh, any of the, the hybrid, North Stars wild jerseys now. I mean, I I know you got Craig's ear. I, I feel like these should be full time all the time, nonstop. What do you think? Um, you know, I'm pretty biased. I love those old throwback uh, <laughs> North Star colors, and I think a lot of people do here too. And so. I think that's just something that people just uh, resonate with is, uh, you know, the North Star days and people still talk to this day about they just still can't believe we uh, we moved out of town. So, uh, of course, I take the brunt of those uh, questions when I see people around the city and, and at hockey games. But, yeah, there's still still a fond love for that team and those colors. And, you know, I think they're they, they show great up on TV and in person. They just got that, that bright yellow and bright green. You can't beat it. Well, Mike, you sound very, very busy these days, but I'm very concerned. Are you finding any time to play golf? And, you know, I see you every summer at the American Century Championship. I got to know if that's going to be, you know, this is it for you this year. You're going to win this thing know. or what? It's been, it's been one of the most mildest winners in uh, <laughs> Minnesota a long time. So, but Is still, Allison I on the bag? I love it. I know. We, we were fighting between the six and seven iron here, so I finally... <laughs> I said, I better agree with my caddy or it's going to be a long night. Yeah, so yeah I figured we I was going to ask uh, you we who won that. We went with the seven and it turned out well. So she she got all the credit for that. Oh, look at that shot. I wow. know. And Allison's yeah. a tremendous, a tremendous golfer herself, pro golfer. Oh, TJ, and, uh... and, TJ and Pavelski went crazy, so they're <laughs> fun. <laughs> good stuff can't get enough of those highlights well mike we appreciate you joining us uh it's been fun it's been a great weekend for you it was wonderful to watch and um you know congratulations on everything and we'll see you uh i'll see you this summer and we'll see you maybe the wild in the postseason as well absolutely look forward to it thank you guys